So I'm Gendi, and I will be talking about the easy hacks uh, so that you can get involved. But first of all, like what are actually the easy hacks? Because like we are talking about something that is online, so like you might get the idea that like it is something that you want to break in easily. That's not the case. Uh, like we are trying to be secure, and we are supposed to be secure. So easy hacks. Uh, use, uh, uses the hacking as in programming, not as, as in trying to break into things. Um, so easy hacks could be uh, like improving anything in Collabora Online. Uh, so it could be uh, in improving the code itself, but it could be also some icon design, UI rework, new tests, uh, like whatever comes to your mind, improving the documentation and stuff. So. And easy in the easy hacks is that these tasks are supposed to be somehow like well described and uh, uh, are supposed to be somehow easy so that uh, when somebody is new to the code base, uh, they are able to like um, learn it um, somehow easily from the basic steps through something like more uh, more advanced until like they are very advanced uh, hackers or very advanced uh, advanced uh, designers or anything that they could do in the Collabora Online. Uh, I will present like what it means, uh, the, what the easy acts mean for us, but also will pre present some some examples of what we have currently. So why to create new easy hacks in the first place? Um, it is not easy to get involved. Like you know, um, you somehow get the idea that like you would like to do something in Collabora online, but like you do not know where to start. So this is like where the easy hacks uh, come to to play. But also, like uh, for you uh, as an easy dev uh, as an experienced developer, uh, something that is like easy for you or you know somehow boring for you because you have done it like many times already can be like very interesting for somebody who is new to the project. So um, for you, uh, an easy hack, um, like for you as an experienced developer, an easy hack can be a way like how to. Uh, how to actually achieve things uh, that uh, somehow like you think like you would be able to do it but just do not want to uh, just yet because it is just you know either too easy or too boring for you at, the, at that very time uh, because like it's some kind of repetitive for example so in case uh, like you are hacking on something and find out something that could be improved uh, but think that it is like not not important enough at that very time uh, please just file it in and file it uh, like with the uh, with the information like how to how to uh, like access uh, so this concrete uh, part of the code uh, so like uh, note down the the exact file where it happens or the function name and what do you want actually to do with that so um the way how we are actually organizing the easy hacks is that we file them as github issues um so there's a label easy hack uh, for these github issues that are supposed to be easy hacks and as i've uh, like already somehow um somehow uh, um, thought a bit so please describe them well so that it's understandable for the people that have no knowledge about the Collabora online. Um, make sure that it's something that is like reasonably easy because we do not want to scare people at the like very first hour. And uh, add the co code pointers like what file it is, what function, and of course uh, add um, if it is not obvious like how to contact you, add there some contact info. Uh, so that like you can help the people if they get stuck. Um, usually they will just uh, ask more questions in the easy hack, like when they when they are uh, when they are interested in this. But, uh, but like it always helps like when you add there more info on how, how to reach you. So uh, if you search uh, for the easy hacks, uh, it looks something like this. Uh, so this is the 
Uh, this is the link uh, that uh, that points from the presentation. So, so it contains uh, like currently some 18 open easy hacks. Uh, 48 are are already closed. Uh, there is some kind of like pinned issues that uh, that uh, that might be interesting for people. But other than that, uh, like you can choose from from a variety of, of things here. And uh, yeah, so there are some examples of the EZX so that uh, you have the idea like what is the scale. So um, a very easy one is copying of documentation into source code as comments. So as you can see on the web page of this uh, of this task, like it is very well described. Uh, with the examples of the steps, like what you are supposed to do, so how to pick uh, something from the documentation, how to locate, like where to put, uh, where to put the comment, how the comment should look like, and how to uh, how to like create pull request with this. Great example of, uh, of what to do. Um, there are about thirty smaller tasks in this, so if you want to start, uh, that's a very great, great thing where to do. Then, on the other hand, like there are some more advanced um, easy hacks. So if you are familiar with the C++, uh, then um, you can uh, help with the removal of the POCO library. Um, it is something, uh, the POCO library is something that we have uh, in, uh, in the Collabora Online from the very start. And uh, it is uh, like quite tight in, uh, in there. Uh, but we are trying to remove these dependencies so that things are, you know, more obvious, more easy for people to help on. So that is uh, some kind of C++ task. Then uh, there is uh, uh, user experience easy hack. Uh, so improvement of the word count dialog, uh, mostly uh, improving some C CSS uh, in Collabora Online so that the, the visual appearance is better. And um, something that is uh, that is uh, more for somebody who uh, likes uh, to do shell scripting or make files and and these things. Uh, so we have tasks even for them. There is one example here, so that uh, like improving the uh, improving the, the make files so that uh, uh, so that the Cypress test uh, uh, failing message is uh, somehow like uh, easier written. There are uh, many mo more out there. Uh, I've shown you the page. Um, so from the documentation of CSS and JavaScript to C++. And uh, please, uh, the experienced developers here, please do create new uh, new easy hacks. Like there's never a um, shortage of them. And so some next steps, like once you have, uh, you have uh, chosen one and uh, you want to hack on one actually. So try to sort it out just right away. Like it's not necessary to book it some way in the issue, like telling there, like I will be working on that uh, on that issue. Uh, it is uh, not that probable that uh, you would start it uh, like in parallel with somebody else. Of course, if you are uh, if you fear that that might have uh, happen, like uh, write it in the issue that that you are starting on that, but then. Like it might discourage others, like in case like you you find out that uh, it is too hard to, to sort out actually, or you get stuck and you just do not want to continue with that. Um, somehow then then it uh, it uh, like stays in the state that that uh, it seems still booked uh, uh, against you and uh, uh, and nobody else like takes it. So if possible, do not try to book it. Do not try to assign it to yourself. Just just do it and start to communicate about the the, the next steps there. So when you are finished, um, create a pull request and ultimately, of course, uh, the 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 issue is sorted out like once it is uh, in the master at least. So um, for the pull request, work just the normal GitHub way and uh, uh, like uh... oh, God. Uh, so uh, just uh, create it in the normal GitHub way, and uh, um, and uh, like create the, the pull request and uh, and uh, 
use the issue number in the commit message so that it gets linked into that, that issue. So most info, uh, more info about this is at this web page, and that's it for me about the ECX, I think. So thank you so much. Thanks, Katie. Thanks, Katie. Thanks. Good stuff.